In this A-level IB video, it's a biology video, but we're going to be dipping slightly into chemistry. The reason for that is the series of videos following this will be concerned with biological molecules. And in order to understand how things like amino acids, glucose, cellulose, etc., are constructed, we need to understand some of the chemistry which underpins that. So really how the various elements arrange themselves and the number of bonds they form. So I'm going to call this video chemistry for biology. So let's start with the definition of an atom. Well, it's the smallest particle of an element that can exist. And it consists of a positively charged nucleus surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. So here's an atom that I've drawn simply by itself. A molecule is two or more atoms held together by covalent bonds. And that could be the same atom, such as the case in hydrogen, or it could be two different elements, two different types of atom, as is the case in water. So the definition of a molecule is that it's a group of two or more atoms held together by covalent bonds. Now, in terms of the number of bonds, if you have something like a nitrogen molecule, then it's a triple bond and double bonds also exist, such as in the case of carbon dioxide. Focusing in a little bit more on our hydrogen water examples, hydrogen is an element because it consists of one type of atom only. Water is a compound because it consists of two or more types of atom. And crucially, they are chemically bonded. Obviously, the two elements here in water are hydrogen and oxygen. Moving on now, we need to consider how many bonds each element forms. This is super important because it will help us draw out our molecules properly. So starting with the element hydrogen, which has the symbol H, which you can find in a periodic table of elements, it forms one bond. Oxygen now, chemical symbol O, it forms two bonds. Nitrogen chemical symbol N forms three bonds and carbon chemical symbol C forms four bonds and I'm only picking those four elements because really carbohydrates, fats, proteins etc consist of these elements. Sometimes you'll find some sulfur in there also when we're looking at proteins. So how does this work? Well water H2O as you can see each hydrogen here has formed one bond, each oxygen has formed two bonds. Ethane, drawn here. You can see here that each carbon atom has formed four bonds according to our table, and each hydrogen atom has formed one bond. Just a quick note now on forces. So if we take water again, notice that there are covalent bonds holding together the atoms within a molecule and that these covalent bonds are strong. Now water molecules are attracted to each other. So I'm drawing a second one over here. And these attractions are known as intermolecular forces, which are much weaker than covalent bonds.